And for more on the U.S. markets, we're joined now by Michael Levis, Managing Principal at Olympian Capital Markets. Michael, thanks so much for joining us this evening. Let's get straight into it, Michael. Thanks the Dow me, hit an Thanks, Michael. The Dow hit another record today. All three indices up an astounding 18 to 19 percent this year. Is this all thanks to the Fed? I mean, the, the Fed has obviously uh, something to do with it, but I think that the market is reacting uh, very positively to all um, of the kind of macro news that's out there. For instance, they're kind of shrugging off the, the negatives and really kind of focusing in on what companies are doing, how they're doing it, and taking advantage of this. Because as you know, there's been sequestration, there's been tax increases, and the European economies uh, have not been doing well. So I, I think this has been a, a very, very good catalyst for uh, the U.S. Um, corporate outlook. Now, Michael, you mentioned companies, but actually of the 130 companies in the S&P 500 that have reported earnings so far this year, about 63% have beaten analysts' expectations, which is pretty much standard over the past four quarters. 67% of companies have beaten earnings. But what is disconcerting is that so far about 52% of companies reporting have fallen short of revenue forecasts. So they're cutting costs and adjusting the top line, but they still are not generating more sales on the top line, if you will. Is, is this not a big concern? Well, I, I think that the, the impact of, of revenue has to be taken sometimes within the context of where they're selling and what they're doing. Obviously, as I just said a few minutes ago, the European economies have, have had an impact on the multinational corporations. But um, based on what I've seen and what I've heard of the, the companies reporting, and we're looking at about 50 percent have beaten both on the top line and bottom. Uh, I think we'll, you know, we'll, we're going to be okay, and we'll continue this within the the, the next quarter, uh, going into the beginning of the year. And after that, we'll have to see um, what happens as far as the revenue numbers go. So, Michael, you're fairly optimistic, and with this kind of rate of return, 18 to 19 percent so far year to date, which is just astounding, is the place to be still the U.S. equity market? Is there any reason to not just buy a simple ETF? I think the U.S. market is, is just tremendous. Obviously, um, I, I think the companies, if, if you listen to what's going on here in the United States, um, obviously the economy is improving, uh, corporate profits are improving. There's been some uh, just tremendous emphasis in mergers and acquisitions. And look, I mean, look today. I mean, so you had Cisco, for instance, and a number of other companies have been just, you know, on a tear. So as far as buying companies, I think this is going to continue, and I think it's a great opportunity. And I think the U.S. has a great advantage in being able to take part in this and being the leader and going forward and um, not really looking at what the rest of the world is doing, but just taking the lead and continuing this upward move. Now, Michael, I want to focus a little bit about the bank stocks because so far this quarter, financials have done remarkably well. But there are some ominous clouds on the horizon, especially with regards to impending Washington regulation and potentially some tighter monetary policy down the line from the Fed. How much of an impact is this going to have going forward? Well, I think that the banks have really, um, they've gotten it together as far as their capital requirements. They've all gone through all of the, um, the, the stress tests, et cetera. They've built up their capital requirements. Um, They've gone through the regulatory aspect, and I think that they will continue to move higher. Uh, the economy is getting better. We're seeing the consumer, uh, as far as mortgages go, uh, credit card delinquencies are down. So when you have the combination of all of these, the banks uh, can't help but do much better, and I, I think we'll continue to see that. And there's been some changes at some of the banks. Um, for instance, you had some changes at, at the, the money center banks, and they've been doing extremely well. And I think the changes that they have made to implement a new business and a future business will obviously uh, tell us in the future of, of, of if these implementations have you know, merit and have done well for them. All right. We will definitely be keeping an eye on that, as I'm sure you will too. Michael Levis, thank you so much. Managing principal at Olympian Capital Markets.